Welcome everyone to a new video tutorial and in this I will I would like to show you how to edit GeoJSONs which will be needed maybe by a web mapping application in GeoJSON.io and therefore I will first show you my project in QGIS so here it is uh, this was done for a web mapping application for the long nights of the museums in Berlin and as you can see it's, it probably looks like most of all the QGIS or Quantum GIS projects so you have a lot of layers here and um, you can watch them in your QGIS um, project and of course you can yeah, somehow uh, save them as a GeoJSON but for the implementation in the web map, you probably don't use maybe a GeoJSON, but a JS um, data file. And um, for this reason, I've shown you here my JavaScript file, which is a ver variable called Bushalte, which is more or less just a bus stop. And here's the content of the GeoJSON embedded. And um, yeah, what's the purpose of this is to import this file and another file to geojson.io which makes it then editable uh, by non-GIS users as you may provide others with your data and um, so this is the data for um, for most of, of the web mapping applications as you can see here there's a comment line and of course there's um, there's a declination or definition of a variable. So for adding this file to geojson.io, you have to change some things. So let's have a look here to busstops.geojson, which is uh, more or less just the embedment here or the inner part of the of that JS file. So I'll open that as well, and as you can see here same same things but what is missing are the comments because geojson.io don't like comments so we will take this file busstops.geojson geojson, um, and track them directly into the geojson.io web mapping application so here's a tab let's go back to this and just move them over. So now you can already see your uh, features in uh, in geojson.io uh, with simple markers so you don't have the symbology you have maybe used in your web map if it is not defined in the variable itself and so these are custom markers, markers and you can see here them um, all the attributes so um, all the attributes that are part of your QGIS project and also part of your extraction are part here in um, the GeoJSON IO interface. You can edit them and click on save. You can um, change the positions of those features just by okay, press console here just by going into the edit layer mode and you can simply drag them around, locate them to a new position, you can um, remove points, you can add some new points by just clicking here on um, on this and place a new marker somewhere here and by checking it again you can also give him new um, new variables like the latitude which could be something like dot five one I don't know and press on save but keep in mind that uh, adding here something like a latitude doesn't mean that it is a real latitude of that point it is more or less just a name or or an attribute like um, like the um, like like the um, the line number or something like this so um, you can here you can see here as well um, a table with data so um, and you can have a look at on the definition as a geojson itself 
so um, let's have in mind that you would like to create a new one so you can easily locate your new new point which is now here on the bottom and I will now add something like an ID which is one two three four click on save re use this and now you can see here that we have our type feature with the properties ID one two three four um, of course you can directly put something into here so like the name which could be Reich Pichufer sounds very German I think and by rechecking here you can see the same attribute in the GeoJSON IO web map. So, uh, what's the purpose behind? Just copy the code and add it, add it to your um, definition of the file itself. We have the coordinates. And actually this is it, more or less. But now we have a little problem here because oh, let me show you something. We'll just close this, close without saving. And what I will do now is I will try to add a new layer to this. So let's go back to my files. Here we have a G directions layer. And I'll now just copy that over. What is happening now it is um yeah. It's completely um, throwing away all your for all your previous data, and he will add that as a new layer or a new project. So how to avoid this is very, I think, very simple, but it can be a um, little difficult maybe to guys or persons who are not used to JavaScript and uh, GIS. So let's open this uh, bus stops GeoJSON once more. And you can see here that we have always this co um, yeah, content like type, we have a feature and we have the attributes like ID, property, and then we have some properties. Uh, no, the, the, this, this ID is just um, um, generated one. Then we have the properties with uh, variables like latitude, longitude, line number one is seven, line number two there's nothing in it and so on and um, then you have the title and um, in the last part here we have a tab called geometry which says this is a point and we have some coordinates for that point pair but um, we can enhance this GeoJSON file by just adding new content and as you can see here in the upper part it's a feature collection that means you can collect several features in it and those features doesn't have to be the same type so uh, I will now open up directions GeoJSON dot, uh, dot GeoJSON and copy all the content here from beginning with type to the end. Copy, go back to busstops.geojson. As you can see here, I've made a comma and I will paste that in the end. Checking for not having any comments. Looks fine. And I will save that now as a new file. Save as points lines .geojson. So this is it for the moment and here we have it. And I will now just drag that over. I think it will take some time. And here we are. So we now have the markers and the directions 
on one place. We also have a table, but this is now a little bit more complicated because you have here now the attributes or the the uh, yeah the variables from the points, not like that long line number and the title in the end. But you also have the variables from the roots, like ID and root number. So keep that in mind when you are editing those features. Okay, um, let's go back here. I take some time to, um, or yeah, as in fact, it is a lot of data. You have to wait a little bit if your connection or your internet access is not that good. So you can easily add, delete, and um, edit data here in geotrason.io. You can embed the whole code after that. You can alter your code, which is all, all already available maybe on the internet. And um, in fact, GeoJSON is a very nice and easy to use tool for your web mapping application. It lacks the possibility of snipping or of snapping, as you may be use this in Quantum GIS. So keep that in mind. Um, you probably will have some non-overlapping features um, that should be overlapped in a good web mapping application. But well done. This is a great tool for every guy or person who is interested in web mapping application and GIS. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.